One rules the open plains with raw muscle and unmatched acceleration, the cheetah. The other, a feathered missile from the skies, the peregrine falcon. Both are nature's elite racers, fine-tuned for speed like living supercars. But who truly deserves the title of the world's fastest animal? Is it the ground-blurring predator of the savannah? or the skydiving death machine that breaks 200 miles per hour in a single stoop. Today, we pit Earth against sky, acceleration against velocity, in the ultimate speed showdown. Welcome to the race you didn't know you needed, Cheetah vs. Peregrine Falcon. Let the wild sprint begin. Speed. It's one of the most electrifying forces in the animal kingdom. Whether it's chasing down prey in a blur of motion, or dive-bombing from the clouds with pinpoint precision, nature's fastest creatures are built not just to survive, but to dominate. And when it comes to the title of fastest animal on Earth, two names rise above the rest, the cheetah and the peregrine falcon. The cheetah is a ground-level rocket, capable of going from zero to 60 miles per hour in under three seconds. On the other side, the peregrine falcon isn't just fast, it's a biological missile hitting speeds of over 200 miles per hour when diving for prey. But can we truly compare flight with sprinting? Or is it like asking whether a fighter jet is faster than a Formula One car? In this ultimate breakdown, we'll dissect what speed really means. Beyond just the number on a radar gun, you'll discover the raw record-breaking stats of each animal, the high-performance anatomy that makes it all possible how each creature turns speed into a deadly hunting tactic two species. Two styles, one crown. So who's really the speed king? Let's find out. When comparing the fastest animals on Earth, it's tempting to jump straight to top speed. But to really understand how the cheetah and the peregrine falcon achieve such mind-blowing velocity, we have to look under the hood, at the numbers, the frame, and the specialized tools each one brings to the race. Let's start on the ground. The Ya uh, cheetah is the undisputed sprinter of the animal world. At full tilt, it can hit speeds between 60 and 70 miles per hour, but only for about 20 to 30 seconds. Why? That explosive power comes at a price. The cheetah's internal temperature rises rapidly, forcing it to stop and cool down or risk overheating. But for that brief window, it's an unstoppable blur. What's even more impressive? It goes from 0 to 60 in under 3 seconds, matching a high-end sports car, weighing in at 75 to 140 pounds and stretching up to 4.5 feet in length. The cheetah is lean, light, and built purely for acceleration. Now look to the skies. The Peregrine Falcon doesn't play by the same rules. It's not about acceleration. It's about velocity. When it enters its legendary hunting dive, called a stoop, it becomes a projectile, reaching an astonishing 240 miles per hour, the fastest recorded speed of any animal on Earth. In nice, normal-level flight, it cruises at around 40 to 60 miles per hour, still impressive for a bird of its size. And speaking of size, the peregrine weighs just 1.5 to 3.5 pounds with a wingspan of 3 to 4 feet. It's compact, aerodynamic, and engineered for aerial dominance. So who's faster? It depends how you define it. The Falcon holds the record for absolute top speed, no contest. But the cheetah delivers unparalleled acceleration on land, making it the fastest animal in terms of ground pursuit. It's raw power versus gravitational finesse. But here's where things get interesting. Speed isn't just a number. It's a reflection of anatomy. Because what's inside each of these predators makes their speed not just possible, but unstoppable. So let's dive deeper into the designs behind these living speed machines. What makes a cheetah a land-based rocket? And how does a falcon survive a dive faster than a freeway car? Let's break it down next. Speed is nothing without the right environment to unleash it. And the habitats these two predators call home are just as specialized as their bodies. Let's start with the cheetah. Found mostly in sub-Saharan Africa with a small population in Iran, the cheetah's world is wide open, literally. It thrives in grasslands, savannas, and lightly wooded areas where long lines of sight give it the runway it needs to hit top gear. 
In these flat, open spaces, visibility is everything. Cheetahs rely on their keen eyesight to spot prey from afar, then burst into a deadly sprint before the target even knows it's being hunted. Their day is ruled by the sun. Unlike many predators, cheetahs are diurnal, hunting primarily in the early morning or late afternoon to avoid the brutal midday heat. And because they're not built for fighting, cheetahs often eat quickly and keep a low profile, avoiding larger, stronger predators like lions and hyenas. Now, look skyward. Peregrine. Falcons have one of the widest distributions of any bird. They're found on every continent except Antarctica. From coastal cliffs to desert canyons to high-rise city buildings, these raptors have adapted to almost any environment that offers high perches and an open sky. But despite their global spread, the formula stays the same. Height equals hunting. Power. Peregrines don't chase, they ambush. Perched high above, they spot their prey, usually a pigeon or small bird, and enter their iconic dive, tucking in wings and turning into a feathered torpedo. They hit with such force that their prey rarely knows what hit it. Most hunts last just seconds. So while the cheetah's world is ruled by chase, terrain, and heat, the falcon's is defined by altitude, vision, and gravity, and their behavior reflects that difference. Cheetahs live solitary or in small groups, mothers with cubs or male coalitions. They patrol large territories and rely on stealth, followed by sudden speed. Peregrines, on the other hand, are fiercely territorial pairs. Once bonded, they often return to the same nesting sites year after year, especially in cities, where skyscrapers mimic cliffs. But how do their bodies actually perform these high-speed feats in their environments? What hidden tools do they use to convert space into speed? Time to look under the skin and into the adaptations that make each one a master of their domain. What gives these animals their speed isn't just muscle, it's innovation by evolution. From bone structure to breathing, every part of their bodies is precision engineered for the same goal. Outpace and outmaneuver the prey. Let's start with the cheetah, nature's sprinter. First, the cheetah's spine acts like a spring-loaded shock absorber. It flexes and coils with every stride, giving the cat an extended range of motion that lengthens each leap. With every gallop, it covers 20 to 25 feet. Think of it as jumping over a school bus with each bound. Its limbs are long and light, with semi-retractable claws that act like cleats, gripping the ground for maximum traction. Its tail isn't just a decoration. It works like a rudder counterbalancing those lightning-fast turns at full speed. And when it comes to breathing, the E. Cheetah's nasal passages are wide and efficient, allowing it to go from rest to panting like a sprinter crossing the finish line. Peak sprint, its heart pounds at 150 to 170 beats per minute. That's Formula One level performance in a fur coat. Now shift to the peregrine falcon. This bird is designed for aerial warfare. Its wings are long, pointed, and stiff, ideal for slicing through the sky at high velocity. But here's the cool part. During a stoop, peregrines tuck their wings tight and pull in their feet, forming a sleek teardrop shape that minimizes drag. Their nostrils are specially adapted to handle air pressure at extreme speeds. Tiny, cone-shaped, bones inside act like baffles in a jet engine, allowing the bird to breathe while traveling over 200 mepro without blowing out its lungs. The falcon's eyes are just as extreme. They have two fovi per eye, high-resolution centers that let them track prey from over a mile away. They even wear a natural version of flight goggles, a third eyelid called a nictitating membrane that sweeps across the eye during dives to keep debris out and vision clear. So whether it's clawed paws tearing across terrain or feathered Missiles slicing through the sky, both animals are built for a very specific kind of speed. But what happens when we bring them head to head? Who actually holds the title in a direct comparison? Let's put their strongest traits side by side and find out. On land, nothing can touch a cheetah. Its acceleration is not just fast, it's terrifyingly explosive. From zero to sixty and under, three seconds? That's Ferrari territory. And unlike most other big cats, cheetahs are built almost entirely around the concept of speed. 
Their non-retractable claws work like track spikes, gripping the earth with every stride. Their lightweight, frame, flexible spine, and oversized lungs and heart are all tuned for short, powerful bursts. In a foot race over 100 meters, a cheetah wouldn't just win. It would disappear into the distance before you even finished gasping. But the cheetah's Achilles heel is endurance. It can only hold top speed for about 20 to 30 seconds before it risks overheating. It's a sprinter, not a marathoner. Its power lies in speed over flat terrain, in short-range ambushes where surprise is the key. In the skies, the peregrine is the undisputed missile monarch. During its signature hunting stoop, the falcon doesn't just fall. It plummets with lethal precision, hitting over 240 megamysat. That's nearly four times the cheetah's max speed. How? Gravity plays a role, sure, but it's the falcon's shape, feathers, and aerodynamic design that allow it to cut through the air with minimal resistance. It's not just about falling, it's about controlling that fall with devastating accuracy. Unlike the cheetah, the peregrine doesn't rely on chasing. Its strategy is all about altitude, surprise, and impact. A single hit at full stoop can knock prey out of the sky instantly. And thanks to adaptations like its specialized nostrils and protective eye membranes, it can handle the g-force and velocity of that dive like a living fighter jet. So when it comes to raw top speed, the Falcon wins. No contest. But when considering ground-based speed and acceleration, the cheetah holds the crown. It's a tie. Depending on your definition of speed, the Falcon is the fastest in the air. The cheetah dominates on land. One controls the vertical axis, the other rules the horizontal. Two champions, two styles. One respect-worthy rivalry. But before we declare a final winner, let's bring everything together and settle the score. Who really earns the title of the true Speed King? So who truly deserves the title of Speed King? The cheetah, the terrestrial rocket built for short bursts of jaw-dropping acceleration? Or the peregrine falcon, the airborne predator that turns gravity into a weapon and clocks speeds that defy belief. Let's recap. The cheetah is the fastest land animal alive. It accelerates like no other creature on Earth and uses every inch of its body to create forward momentum. In a land-based race, nothing comes close. Not even the fastest racehorse or elite human sprinter could dream of competing but it's a short-lived flash. Once that top speed is hit, time is ticking fast. Within seconds, the cheetah must either catch its prey or cool down, or it risks collapse. On the flip side, the peregrine falcon doesn't just beat the cheetah's speed, it obliterates it, topping out at over 240 miles per hour. It's the fastest living thing on the planet. But here's the twist. It can only reach that speed in a dive using height and physics to supercharge its attack. In level flight, it's still fast, but not cheetah fast. So while it holds the record for absolute speed, it doesn't quite own the speed crown in every context. So here's the final verdict. If we're talking maximum velocity in any situation, air, land, or sea, the peregrine me, Falcon is the undisputed champion. But if we're talking fastest acceleration on flat ground, the cheetah holds that throne with pride. In the end, it's not about picking one over the other. It's about celebrating how differently evolution has solved the same challenge. 1. Uses precision, altitude, and shock. The other. Raw power, ground-level agility, and explosive speed. But what do you think? Does max speed matter more, or is acceleration king? Still reeling from that high-speed showdown. Well, buckle up, because the wild world of animal extremes doesn't stop here. If you thought cheetahs and peregrines were impressive, wait until you meet two of nature's most powerful forces in an all-new face-off. Gorilla versus grizzly bear. Who's the real king of strength? It's brain versus brawn, muscle against mass. And trust us, the result will surprise you. Or maybe you're more into the weird and wonderful... Then check out our video on 10 animal abilities that defy science. From lizards that walk on water, to jellyfish that can technically live forever. So what do you think? Did we crown the right speed champion today? Drop your pick in the comments.
Team Cheetah or Deer Team Falcon. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and join us for more wild battles, crazy facts, and animal drama you won't believe is real.